Hey, Vindy. Hey, what? I have a question for you. I have an answer for you. What do you think about this picture? Oh, I don't <laughs> like it. I like Chikorita, and I like Bayleaf especially. And, it's a uh, fucking terrifying image, actually. It's, like, really fucking yeah, scary. Yeah, that's some psychopath shit. Like, look <laughs> at her face. She has, like, no, like, remorse in her eyes, and the Chikoritas yeah. are just, like, they're, like, they've been, like, lobotomized or something, because the they don't even care. Who, uh... I can't, you know, I was going to make a topical They know their place as the worst no, starter listen, in the entire franchise. That's wrong, too. That's also just wrong because there's, like, you know. I was you know. going to make a joke about, like, uh, I don't know, some topical joke making fun of some fucking person you want to make fun of. But there have been too many recently. I actually can't think of any. Like, I can't think of any specifically because everyone's been a fucking clown. Yeah, there's so. been too many. Like, who I mean, do I even lo- make fun of individually? I, can't. I mean, she looks like she could be making some kind of sushi is the joke you could have made, but, like, you know. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's a little too direct. I'm sorry, man. I only know how to charge head on. I only I only have a message for you. You know, my final message is, uh, you know, change the world, my final message. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Weeb Club Seasonal. It is I, Vindy, squeak squeak. It's me, what the what, Johanne Armpit, stinky. Uh-oh. You could have said, you're so stupid. You were supposed to say I'm Craftsdorf and the Craftsdorf say I am what the what. Because then we could have rotated. I wasn't paying enough attention for that. That is and also he was, true. He was also, every you know time what, there he goes, every time there, even if I say I'm Craftsdorf, he goes, me Craftsdorf. Yeah, because he's fucking stupid. You're right. Yeah. You came in. You came in clutch in there, Vinny. Good job. One, two, three, high five. Go. Fucking ridiculous bullshit is going on right now. All right. <laughs> the Weeb Club. Welcome. The Weeb Club is a dead channel. It should be more subs because it has two 20k plus YouTubers on it, but it doesn't have more, so it's dead. All right. What? Okay. Shut up. <laughs> also, do you have 30k subs? Oh, you're right. I'm a I only care about clout, which is why I have the numbers I have. <laughs> Shut up. I'm the one who's able to See, if you shift clout. gears, you're just going to confuse them. <laughs> yeah, we can't make fun of too many people at once. Again, it's too confusing. Make fun that of way. everyone. All right. Uh <laughs> God, you're fucking You're something else. Hey, I'm going to say this before we get to the comments. Motherfuckers, no one posted anything on the Reddit last week. What am I supposed to do if y'all make less content for me than normal? Read comments this time. Oh my god, there are some good comments. Need but... weeb need weeb club gobblers gone. <laughs> it's ten to, it's ten years too late to consider them the diamond standard of anime podcasts. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck out there considers oh. the weeb club the diamond standard of oh. anime of po- anime podcasts. Wait, I remembered. If you're watching this the day it goes up, tonight is the Pog stream, live EWB. A Pog. Playing Pog Rex channel. Naruto, live EWB stream on my Twitch channel. Which is Twitch. Twitch.tv slash I have a question. I have an answer. Why did Dot comment about this TMI shit? Why does he, why does he want us to know that he takes shits while he's watching the Weeb Club? <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. So he records his podcast on a toilet? The Weep Club too? I mean, fitting, because, you know. Yeah, he format. makes it on the toilet, and it goes in the toilet. Their format shit. Anyway, um, Wet Afro's comments, when What the Wet calls us stupid, and says that we are that we like that because we are masochists, I think he is missing the point. Maybe by some fraction of a chance, some of us are masochists. Hmm. But most of us know how stupid we are, and we don't like that fact. But we just have come to terms with it. So you're masochists, is what you're saying. You're masochist. Um, That's what I'm gathering from that. This comment from Ronan11111, I like. And no, no, I'm not a masochist. Shut up. Stop calling me a masochist. Uh, he says, Welp, looks like the stream is going to be at 3 a.m. for me. I guess I got to fuck my sleep schedule up so I can be there on this momentous occasion. And then my favorite part, and this is why I'm glad I haven't seen this video yet, 
is he says, edit, I'm watching the video in preparation right now, and it's the worst fucking video I've ever seen. I'm just glad I haven't read all of Naruto. So some of the abject retardation he spouts goes over my head. <laughs> I'm mm. really scared to watch this video because everyone constantly says how bad it is. It's so funny. Oh, it's bad. Look, if it's so bad, <laughs> if it's so bad that I just fucking like blank out and don't even realize anything's happening, then it's bad. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Last time oh. that was when you watched Deva. The Kage Pro said, <laughs> "Crafts trying not to be racist. What? They only speak K-pop. Look." When I, I listen, mean, when I, I listen mean, to those K-pop boys, the BTSs, the the Lunas, you know, the fucking, Stan Luna. you know, the Jing Jing, but Jing Jing, right? I, I'm sorry. Was that, I'm sorry. I I Is don't hear real? anything except fake love, fake love, fake love. That's all I hear. That was. I feel like that was real fucking racist, but I can't call you. I'm the only one the here podcast. with chinky eyes, my friend. You I know, not. but I feel like what you said was like really racist but i can't call you on it look they can respond look there are people out here making videos about making fun of the japanese all right and i'm not offended so whatever uh matias <laughs> Ocampo says the entire the idea of shizuru and katarina in the same world gets my dick so hard me too but they said also i'm 99 sure the grandmas from rent a girlfriend are not so straight and i need dojins of them no. well this mm-hmm. episode <laughs> made it 10 times mm-hmm. more obvious they're definitely not <laughs> Hey, Craftstruff, I'm going to need you to bleep out everything I said about the Koreans, by the way. No, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> See, I was going to say, it's funny that you're, like, using, like, oh, racism as, like, a, like, like, as, like, a shield. Like, I'm, I don't get offended at other racists, but then, like, <laughs> I don't know. Is that the best defense for it? Look, I mean, the thing. I mean, <laughs> I remember when someone was going to make a video about how a, a, a movie didn't accurately. Shut up. Right. Anyway, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, right? Me and Vinny were talking about this. We came to a realization. <clears throat> people get people who get offended at racist humor don't understand why people think it's funny. It's funny. Oh yeah, this is true. You know, so it's funny not because haha we're racist and racism funny. It's because you saying it, you don't actually believe that. And it's so it's so in, it's it's just like it's like insane that anyone believe that. But you know that there are people in this world so fucked up that they actually believe the things you're saying, which is yeah. hilarious. Like that's, are... that's yeah the joke is essentially making fun of like when i if i make like a racist or super edgy joke right like if i make a haha gonna shoot up a school haha like the joke oh. is shooting up a school is funny the joke is hey like you're supposed to be laughing at me or the idea if not me the idea of someone that is so fucked up in the head that they're fucked doing up that. in the head yeah that they would resort to those kinds of measures to deal with a problem in their life or have those kinds of beliefs and ideas, or that anyone right? who, or that anyone's fucked up to actually believe that one race is better than another, right? Like yeah, that's yeah. It's the same reason like I make like women hating jokes and think they're funny because the idea is that like that anyone would think that women are just like inferior to men is ridiculous, it, especially and because true, it, but... when we do do it, it is in this really over the top <laughs> oh. way where like like one a meme on my server is like a character will do anything ne- negative to, like like just like you know touch them and a based you know based wife beating. Or, you know, like, right. uh, <laughs> the joke's fun. Like, man, I can't believe Horikoshi abandoned his theme of fuck kids. Uh, uh, <laughs> Abuse is good. Oh, no. Like, that kind of stuff. Right. Oh, no. And, and, like, the joke is obviously not, haha, it's funny to beat your children. But it's, like, it, the joke is, like, <laughs> you're taking the piss out of people who do those things and making fun of the bad people as opposed to glorifying what they do. And the only people who think that you're glorifying what they do are people who would glorify what they do. So it really, if anything, is more telling that someone would get offended by that than actually... By us making uh, fun of them and their actual beliefs. Also, yeah. I can't wait for Mega Graphics to clip all of this and for just, all, just clips going around of, like, Vindy saying, ha-ha, fuck kids, right? Just, that, that'll be fucking epic. I don't think I said, ha-ha, fuck kids. Well, when I was craft Rav, you said beat women, so, like, you know. <laughs> um... I like uh, this one comment, and I'm going to leave it up to y'all audience. He says, wait, Vindy is half Mexican, so can he say the N-word? I don't know. I'm Mexican, not black. <laughs> say it now. Say it now. Say it now. Say it I'm now. I'm not say going it to. Say it now. The say problem it now. is, even if I could, I look too white, I think, to get away with it, right? Say like, it now. Being, say it now. Being half uh, Latino doesn't excuse the fact that I look white as a fuck. No, if anything, that'll get you more likely to get beat up by a bunch of black dudes. That's what I mean. Like, it doesn't ha- it doesn't help my case. Like, I don't think I can say it. I don't think anybody's been so to L.A. What do you mean? 
I've been to LA. I've met you in LA. No, okay, never mind. You're not fucking. Oh, okay. Well, Kit's not never been to LA. Oh, uh, you... okay. That's what you're saying. Uh, <laughs> are there any other seasonal comments you want to go over? Not really. You guys said all of them, so. Oh my fucking god! You know, <laughs> Big Crash Noir. Okay, so me and Crafter were just talking about this because there's people doing like construction at my house right now, and I was like, oh, there's gonna be noise in my house. And Crafter was like, it's okay. We'll just have to make sure, like, you know, cut around when you don't talk. But you know, sometimes when I'm editing audio, fucking Vindy will like crack open a bottle or a can, and like it'll be really loud. And during while he's talking, there's nothing I can do about the e- during the editing process. Dude, I'm inviting people into my which home. Is, I'm letting which, them get the true talk. Which is so the true. Listen, you motherfuckers don't know what it's like having to fucking listen to the Weeb Club audio. Be like, yeah, this is pretty. And all of a sudden. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. Sometimes you'll hear in the middle of like craft store going on super analytical rambles while I start <laughs> listening. Yeah, exactly. Every single time. Yeah, it's always weird. If you look, guys look at my editing software, when we have the audio files, it is literally <laughs> Vindy's looks like I fucking went Freddy Krueger on its ass, okay? Like, Jesus Christ. I don't type that much anymore. I've stopped typing anywhere near as You much should have seen the BNA file where I was just cutting the entire thing the fuck up. Dude, I... I think BNA, I just gave up on that episode because that episode was oh, like boring. Oh, I don't do it anymore. Oh, but BNA, it was a little different that time. Do mm-hmm. I type as much now as I did when we first started and I was like talking to like 20 people Craft on Discord while editing? Craft store does he? Take a side, craft store. I've gotten better about it and I won't hear that I have it. What are you gonna do? The odds are stacked against you. I mean, if you're telling me I haven't gotten any Back better, then I guess it doesn't wall. matter what I do when Gotta I really give just your, start typing uh, all the time. Uh, 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 this is the final stand. Uh, 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 the power's in your hand, too. Worlds collide on the inside. All right, so on the B&A <laughs> episode, there's something that's really <laughs> funny about it. Uh, that before we get to the comments, um, that I fucking think is so fucking funny. It's which really is, funny. Uh, so I guess five people... Now... I wonder which of the three of us would be so brazen and bold is to make five people mad enough, maybe five scorned lovers, you might say, angry enough that they instantly dislike a <laughs> podcast he makes. Perhaps. I don't know which one of us would do that. I don't right? know. But one of us clearly intentionally made five people mad enough, or accidentally. What do you mean? Okay, hold on. What do you mean intentionally? Made five people intentionally. I mean, you fucking fan the flames. You stoke the fucking fire. You when? see a fire going on, and instead okay. of fucking hold sitting on, here hold and on, looking on. at it and trying okay, to like, now I don't know because I only know of one person. I know of only one person who I intentionally got mad. I only know of one person who I intentionally got mad. Well, you didn't intentionally make them mad now, but if you intentionally made them mad a year and a half ago, and they're still holding on to it, I yeah, didn't intentionally make them mad before. Uh, okay. They got mad on their own, and then I fanned the flames, Vindy. You got to do the order right. I'm saying that there's already that fire, and then you stoked it. You added gas to that fire. It's just really funny to me that I have, like, this weird... You might say you gas lit them a little bit. Oh, no! (laughs) Hey, Vindy, come here. I'm going to gaslight you real quick. Are you ready for this one? Okay. All right, check this out. Check this out. So, you right now... Start cl- t- click clack on your keyboard. Can do. Do it right now. Go. Hey, Vindy. Um, it's really irritating how you keep clacking on the keyboard because we have to edit that out. I didn't do that. You're gaslighting. <laughs> there we go. We did it, everybody. We did it. Oh wait, shit. That's just me egging you on. Wait, no, no. That's me being toxic. Um. Yeah, but okay. So someone <laughs> made five people mad enough. Oh my god. The newest Weeb Club got five dislikes right away. And then Dot decided to start a movement of mass <laughs> disliking the Weeb Club. Read his comments. They're so funny, though. Yeah, so, like, he made a comment that said, um, someone already left five dislikes in the first minute of being uploaded, so let's make this the most disliked episode of the Weeb Club. Let's go. And it has 15 dislikes. Okay, or, <laughs> that comment... That comment has 15 com- likes, I'm sorry. And the, and the episode has 23 dislikes. 23 right? dislikes. So, yeah, but that then should... I'm convinced that a subset of people, maybe it was like they decided to get off work or, you know, they, they finally woke up at 5 8 p.m. like the degenerates they are or whatever. They, they checked their, their YouTube and they saw a new episode of The Weep Club. And they're like, oh, this is on BNA. I'm a horny furry, so I'll watch it. They turn <laughs> it on and they see that it had like, because at one point it was like three dislikes and like 20, or three likes and like 20 dislikes. 
right? <laughs> and I'm convinced that all these people were like, why the fuck does this episode have so many dislikes? I like the Weeb Club. So then they pressed life to try to, like, counteract the people that they thought were dislike botting us, not privy to the fact that the people dislike botting us were are people also who fans. are all Weeb Club fans. <laughs> It's so funny. And the best part is that just gives us engagement. Like it doesn't fucking time. matter because it has it has like some of the most. It's like what is it like? It's ranked like it's 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 got pretty pretty good. It's m- number easily of views. the most controversial uh, Weeb Club yeah, in terms but, of like dislike ratio. The only other one that would be close was Ishizoku reviewers, I think. Which we talk about it for like you know the middle of it, and then we never bring it up again. Yeah, but because the title is Ishizoku Reviewers is Garbage. I want to check on! I honestly assume the dislikes came from the title, honestly. Because yeah, no, because that's what I thought, listen. too, until I actually, like, was told what happened by what, and then I was like, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. Because I woke, I, like, checked it, because I always, like, when weeb clubs go up, I don't check them right away, right? Because, like, what the fuck are you going to see on a weeb club that just went up, right? Uh, oh, actually, okay, our, the, the Ishizoku Reviewers one has 39 likes and 27 dislikes, but you know what? That's... Oh, it also has three times the views, so... But, like, I, I checked it, like, after a couple hours, like, why does this have 20 dislikes? And I was so confused. I was like, did we piss people off in that episode? I'm, I can't figure it out. No, but a certain I, somebody thought it'd be really funny to epically own the, an, the anime industry by going after my anime list because the correlation makes sense. But, you know. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Weeboo Club 2 also commented, now that everyone hates the Weeb Club, we can finally rise above dislike the Weeb Club. Um, no. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen. You know who, uh, recently listened to the Weeb Club 2 and was talking about it in None and I's server and really liked it? Oh, no. Killer69. <laughs> and you know, if well, he's the biggest yeah, Weeb Club 2 you know fan, what? I think that tells you all you need to you know. You <laughs> know, that's about right. <laughs> gotta give it, gotta give it up for that. They should put that in their header. They Killer should put, six. like, he, because he said, yo, this <laughs> podcast is fire. You know how, like, <laughs> I'm like, movies are games? I mean, he's not wrong. He just forgot to add dumpster in there. <laughs> well, like, you know how you have, like, you have, like, quotes from people, like, in quotations uh, on, like, movies? I got a movie, yeah, movie post. They should reviewing. put in their banner on YouTube. They should put, yo, this podcast kind of fire. Killer 69. Uh, also, I say that, but I'm pretty sure both what and I are going to be on an episode. Um, yeah, I, soon ev- all the three of us will be. Then we'll do it. We'll do a special episode just talking about the Weeb Club too, and it'll be great. You'll do that if they get us to a thousand subscribers. I keep making up goals because I know we're not going to hit them, and, and then people are going to forget them. <laughs> um. So anyway, Ninmanji left some comments on here. He's very upset. Yeah, none's like. Mall. Look, so the sec the first one is whatever he goes question mark 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 what the fuck i didn't say i like it a lot i liked it but i just kind of said everyone is stupid for thinking the last episode was bad and it's so obvious to get any second season that it's also weird to worry it's not long enough which is you know what we said what i said at least yeah didn't didn't we make the point that of all trigger shows we want uh the the one what, what the fuck is it called Little Witch Academia. Yes, we wanted that to get a second season, but we know that <coughs> it won't. It'll be it'll be this show that does. Yeah, and then he's made a point that I agree with, and I don't understand why he says y'all when I agree with this point. He goes, "Y'all are stupid and sneaky. I don't know why y'all think it being balls to the wall like Kill a Kill animation wise would fit the show, and that every trigger show needs to be over the top. I think what the show is trying to be in terms of the vibe makes sense with how it is, and I agree with him. I don't, so I don't know why he's saying y'all. You two did. I mean, my you two point did. was that like the art style looks like it should be that, but instead it's not, so it's just boring looking." Because it's like it's like a half ass killer kill and a half ass promare. Like it's not going and that hard enough with. in any way. It's like it's not going enough in any direction to be like notable. So it's just kind of looks mediocre as far as trigger well, shows go. Yeah, that's my yeah. thing. I'm, like, the, I'm the yeah, one who okay, agrees yeah, with the Manji. Yeah, wouldn't fit the show. Then why does it like have the character designer for Luluko, which is a balls to the wall show, and like the character designs look like they could just be thrown in Luluko and look fine? Like why? There's a reason does it look that a like lot of people show? love the baseball episode, which is the one episode that does kind of go balls yeah, to the wall. Yeah, exactly. A lot of it. Right. That was because that's what fits the aesthetic of the show best. It's not about like would it fit the shows right? It's the it, we're, because like we're talking about an aesthetic decision for the aesthetics of the show. Aesthetically, the show looks. Like, that's the kind of path that should be taking. You even have a, like, place for that. With, like, Mr. fucking Edgy Man having, like, his fucking 
transformation, you know? So, like, it, it would fit the series aesthetically, and then when it doesn't do that, and then it just kind of plays it safe like that, it's like, that's fine, but then why don't you have character designs that are more suited to that in an aesthetic right. style like if, to if, the if, series? If what's none saying is that, like, the balls to the wall wouldn't fit the show, then why does it have these character designs that look like they should be in a show like that? Like, why is episode five, like... Yeah, like you um, said, widely considered the best when it does do that. When if the rest of the show would it shouldn't be like that, like well, it doesn't. He's not I, saying I that it wouldn't it's, fit. He's just saying what it is right okay. now fits. So like, I just think Nimanji, right just Nimanji, Nimanji, just so you know, I'm the one who agrees with you. I believe you are right. I agree with okay, you. Dude, it you is these two, nuns, dude. You can make, you can take nuns BBC out of your mouth. I get it. Whoa! Calm the fuck down, man. Hold uh, on. I just wanted to say that I don't care. Can actually. you read Lunar Gem's <laughs> comment? What? Who? Lunar Gem. Who, Who is, is the, the most, most racist, racist person? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Read it at the same time. Ready? One, two, three, go. No. Who is the most... Okay, fuck. <laughs> Mindy, you're no fun. I'm not okay, going to bother reading it. It's on screen. Who is the most, Who is racist, the most racist person, person in this episode? episode? Like or dislike, like or dislike the video, the video if it was Crash Like or dislike the video if it was What the What? The what, what? The what? Like, like or dislike, dislike the video if it was Vindy. Who will win racist supremacy? Let's find out on the next episode of the I had to read it and then I got fell behind. Um, uh, I guess none of them, since screen. the video has more dislikes than likes. And then Lunar Jim responds to that and says, that's not how voting works. And that says, <laughs> edit your original comment to say dislike instead of like. But he says like or dislike, so you know what? We win either way. Everybody give it, give it up for that. Um, <laughs> I also love this comment from Jody, and it's despite taking up 13% of the discussion, 50% of the bad weed club takes come from class. You know, give it up for that. Give it up for that. <laughs> I, but zero he added a five there it's zero percent yeah what's wrong with you <laughs> nothing we'll zero percent of my takes are bad we'll end we'll end this entire with the so, comment section well craft store none of the weeb club have ever had bad takes oh you're right you're good up for that Waddington has no themes anyway uh we're gonna end this comment section with a comment from minecraft steve huh furies no <laughs> you know there's a really good comment from triple a that's worth talking fine about. read it then idiot he said brand new animal falls into the same problem as x-men does when it comes to making racism as allegory the moment that they make the allegory race some sort of superpower slash transformation you give the non-powered humans a legitimate reason to fear them it makes absolute sense that despite making despite making up 13 percent of the populate no uh that someone would be afraid of cyclops <laughs> From the X-Men, considering the man will kill you if he looks at you while not wearing a special visor. Or someone like Jean Grey, using her Esper powers to fuck with your mind, is an understandable fear to have. What? Similarly, it makes sense that some regular humans would be afraid of someone with the strength and power of Rhino or Wolf that's capable of tearing you apart. IR racism doesn't have those justifications, so the allegory falls apart. Racism uh, is handled well in One Piece, namely because the series isn't trying to do an allegory for IRO racism, but is presenting the racism and discrimination that the fishermen face, and also deal out as a product of the world they're in and why it's bad i mean that's kind of i literally make the comparison <coughs> on the podcast like that's also kind of what vna is doing where it's dealing with more with the systemic racism which yeah. to my, on, hold on oh my god what is going on keep this in the podcast by the way <laughs> what the what was okay so my my light bulb has a bluetooth speaker in it and some i think my mom connected her phone to the bluetooth speaker of my light bulb so she could play you music? No, so she could play her music. I think she's probably outside right now, and there's a speaker outside. But I think she doesn't understand that bulb speaker means light bulb speaker. So she connected her phone to my light bulb. And so all of a sudden, I heard the start of music playing to my light bulb, and then it got louder. So I just had to go up and turn my light off, because my mom started playing fucking music in my room. That's so Turning mean. a podcast recording! <laughs> That's kind of epic. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I'm all big. <laughs> but anyway, to finish that thought, um, well, so I, yeah, BNA, like I make the comparison because, well, like, well, one thing also about One Piece is that fishmen, like, they're, they're described as naturally stronger than humans, but, like, then it's shown that humans can be, like, literally in Arlong Park, like, they're using their racial tributes to fight and they all get their asses beat. Even Usopp, like, the weakest member of the crew, beats the shit out of, like, a notably strong fishman, and the strongest people in the world are not, like, the strongest fishmen we know are, like, Namur on Whitebeard's crew and Jinbei, and they are, like, not even close to like emperor or uh like to an emperor or one of their lieutenants even like 
you know, so like the strongest people in the world are humans, and you know, maybe that is because of the oppression, but it's like, but anyway, it, it basically, so you know, in One Piece, like the difference between a fishman and a human isn't that great, even if they like fishmen get like the start, but um, and it, yeah, the, with fishmen out, it deals more in systemic racism, which BNA also deals with, and to my understanding, X Men, like. I mean, I guess it kind of does, but it's it, it's in a, like like they make fucking super robots to go kill the mutants and whatever. Like it's yeah, not in and, a, like and, and like because because part... BNA I'd say does, like the allegory works because it is the more insidious like like the implications of like how systems in you know un, like like oh, how does system like you could say talk to talk about like sl- you know slavery America's slavery allowed for a market for slaves that caused you know African tribes to well now we now we can sell like war prisoners like that this. Uh, systemic racism in america of the time period affected the areas where like uh, affected other places that had no like pe- people of that um race in there in there wh- which is kind of what like bna and one piece explore because like there's vir- virtually no human presence on fishman island there's like no humans in anima city but they're still affected by systemic racism you know so but or what were you gonna say or someone i think um, okay uh because like here's the uh, thing right is that like x-men deals with it more so like it's like it's like yeah they, there's reason to be afraid of them but like 90 percent of the mutant like most of the mutants who get their powers are also like some of them just get like weird like mutation things on their yeah, skin like i've got stretchy ears or i can make myself fatter it's like, like oh like, no most of them what are is useless he, right the fat man's gonna get me like like what like okay be scared of the guy who's gonna shoot laser beams at you but like the point the point is it's like that's uh, the point with like something like x-men is that there are still people in there were people back then who were genuinely threatened by the natural physical capabilities of other races you know so like it's just a hyper exaggerated version of that what the what look at basketball teams and look at the racial disparity on those and tell me that x-men isn't a good allegory now that's not me saying that that's what the what's saying. Man. Look, all I'm saying is that white people are just inferior to every other race. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I can agree. I'm at least half inferior to everyone else. Look, listen, listen. White people are genetic deformity. <sighs> all right? That's what they are. Here, I'm going to post a picture right now. I'm this so is... mad about that fucking light bulb shit, by the way. I'm actually balding. <laughs> here, here, hold on. The picture's loading. The picture's loading. This picture's important. I hope that came through on my mic, at least somewhat. Listen, you crackers, you crackers out, you honkies, check this up. shit out. Shut this up. is what I'm saying to you. Acknowledge. Okay, well, now you you're just asking need to me beat to these white up. guys, right? <laughs> Haha, ha, then he's click clacking. He's click clacking to pull up what needs to be shown. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to the Dragon Ball fan to say something racist. <laughs> I mean, it's the it's the Latino blood in me. I don't know what to tell you. Ah, uh, okay. We're moving on to fucking God of... They finally slowed the fuck down this week episode. Play the opening. Oh, fuck, we have anime to talk about still? <laughs> <laughs> This is the first time I think I've been, we've been doing the Weeb Club and you mentioned the anime, but like, wait, we have to, to like, I every completely... single, like, every single episode we've done this season, we've talked about comments and shit for like 30 fucking minutes. I know. Every I single one. I completely forgot. <laughs> this is the like, fifth episode. But this is the first time I've actually forgotten we had to talk about anime. Well, anyway, so this week you're not going to hear me molding about God of High School because they actually decided to slow the fuck down. It's kind of like I'm realizing it's the same thing that happened when you were talking about Tower of God last season. Where yeah. it's like Tower it's of God. probably the exact same thing, yeah. Which is my question. Is I that... mean, you guys were like, Vindy, you were saying that Tower of God was like the adaptation was fine by like a couple episodes ago, relatively speaking. No, where... it was like five. Well, this episode, th- this was the first episode that didn't suck. Where Tower of God, you were, you were like, so you stopped complaining after the first two or three episodes. Yeah, like, so uh, it's like... I can look because I know I stopped complaining in Tower of God once they got through the the Crown game, which the last which was episode like episode of the episode Crown three. game was episode five. Oh no, sorry. So episode six was the first episode. Well, those first five was... episodes of Tower of God were still better than the. the, the, the yeah, that is also so. true. That is yeah. also true. <laughs> like because the way you go, the yeah. way both of you guys talk about the webtoon, they both seem of uh, like maybe God of High School is like an eight and Tower of God's like a nine. Like that's how you guys seem to talk about it, at least as a whole. Like even if the anime material cover looks like a seven, but it's well, like well, I, the, I'd say like look, speaking as someone who's not read neither of them and only watched them, like Tower of God is still like notably better than God of High School. So like in this episode not being shit, 
like because wow it's a four here's like, the thing T- tower god cuts things out but like at least to a regular viewer it's coherent en- enough to where you're like okay and i can kind of see because like, like you guys were talking about how, like Jin, or, or or before we started recording um yeah so this is the first episode that Jin like actually like because you know i'm a big dumb shonen man and as a big dumb man i love my big dumb shonen boys or like just big dumb main characters who like are very one track and like while i think that kind of existed with Jin in the anime there were moments like there was that moment where they were asking Jin, they're like why do you fight right and they're talking about why they're in the god of high school tournament and he's like oh i'm here because fighting strong people makes me strong and i want to fight strong people and they're like the fuck is wrong with you Wait, and like he- that was like the first moment really that got me like and that was like in the first half of the episode, but that was when I was like, oh, wait, maybe I would kind of like this character in something good. And now I kind of want to read God of High School. Hey, Vindy. Really hey, Vindy. Yeah. You want to know what the first chapter of God of High School is? What? That. That's what it is. Okay, you it's... need to calm down. <laughs> well, anyway. Trying, would you what rather I... capable what? of that? Would you like, rather I continue impossible. reading The World God Only Knows? Uh, or, you know, you know it takes priority. Move on that to that God takes of high priority. Because I can only read one series Look, with God. A ten out of ten takes. You know what? You're right. A ten, a ten out of ten takes priority over an eight or a nine. So go ahead, keep going. But anyway, like God of High School, this episode was actually handling the material pretty well. Like this is where I like slowed down because I had to make like five different videos, and I couldn't read it anymore. But like, yeah, this is like about how they handled it pretty well. The changes they did make were like whatever. Like the dude, like the dude with the girl, like the communist sunglasses. This moment was actually pretty cool, and they handled it really pretty well. Like this is about how it is in the manhwa, except but instead of him like turning around facing man in a bunny suit, he jumps into he, like the guy's in a tree hiding from him, and then the the blind dude like pops up behind him like fucking um Omai Washinderu's him out of the tree, and then they fight. So okay, like, so basically in in the manhwa he got the jump on the attacker, but still somehow died. So it, yeah, it hypes it, up the the attacker in a different way. Where this like he just shows up and then he dies. Where it's very more it's more direct. So it, yeah, it makes the, the would, glasses guy look less strong, I suppose. I would say um, the anime is super unsubtle with everything that it does. Like it's like because it's again we talked about this a TV anime kind of well we talk about this in the review Starlight episode I think where it's like. By virtue of it being a TV anime, it has to dumb things down for the audience who's probably not paying attention fully. Whereas the manhwa, well, also when you have week to week, like you, you, you have to account for the idea that like people are watching it every week, but they're watching it every week. You know, you can't expect people to be watching it all at once. At this point, I'm numb. I'm just numb. I just want to read the manhwa and like get this over with because I'm, I'm as I'm watching it now. I think my video is going to have to be reworked to like the adaptations only really terrible. When you take into account, like, the first six, five or six episodes. Like, okay, I hate how they keep doing the Jujutsu Man dirty. The man's doing capoeira now, and I don't even know why he's doing capoeira when his fighting style is fucking Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I get it, huh? Capoeira is fucking Brazilian too, so it means he's doing capoeira right now. No. I'm sorry? I don't he's understand. Doing, he's, okay, so you're the way... Speaking, he, like, you're speaking, like, five languages okay, right now, and so I speak half of The way he's... His fighting style like is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, right? The Jiu-Jitsu dude. Who keeps getting beaten like literal minutes in the anime? Because, yeah, okay. like they even make a joke about it. It's like this pattern again. Uh, oh, so they're calling Brazil. Oh wait, I can't say that on podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they're not. I was about to make. I was about to say a really look. I'm not going to disclose how I know this information, but due to my 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 storied past, I know some real choice Brazilian <laughs> racial slurs. <laughs> And okay, I almost but, used it without thinking. Regardless, regardless, okay. So Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is a <laughs> is a grappling martial art, and the way he fights in in the manhwa is through Brazilian Jiu Jitsu solely. Like he only goes for like the the gra- like the the grabs and stuff like that, the grapples. Mm-hmm. And the way she beats him is like she beats him not through like brute forcing her way. She beats him through the lesson that the guy that the that the that the announcer taught her to be smooth and be fast or like I. Maybe I'm blanking out, and maybe I'm delirious. I but I think I remember her like beating him because she was like being more soft with it, being like more like, you know, technical with it. Because there's a lot of things in like they changed in the mon- like they changed is that they they were supposed to go through like this training arc. Because the entire reason the God of High School tournament exists is because obviously they're trying to build their power up for an enemy that's coming, which you saw in the beginning of this episode. Like that's the reason why they're having this tournament. They're trying to build Korea's power, is what they're doing. 
But like, um, so the jujitsu guy is like his like his purpose in his fight with first my first fight with Jin was to show that there was a way to beat Jin in the first place. And then what the fuck is that? And then like with this one, it it was um it was to allow like um Mira to actually be like more graceful and like more less relying on power like she usually does. But uh, of course. They, they ignore the fact that his fighting style is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and instead make him use capoeira instead for some reason. Like, he's doing capoeira movements. And he's flipping around like fucking... Like, is it Ed, from, like fucking Eddie from Tekken? And I'm like, what the fuck is happening right now? Please stop. I love Please. Eddie. He's so cool. But but it's not Jiu-Jitsu. It's not Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Well, that's jiu-jitsu. true. Well, it's not supposed to be. He's supposed to... Yeah. They, they say his, his fighting style is Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and then he's just capoeira and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna stop breathing now. I'm just gonna stop breathing. This... Whatever, who cares anymore? But other than that, there's certain things... Why would we treat real martial arts that people dedicate their entire lives to studying with any kind of, uh... Yeah, like the manhwa. Why would you ever treat it like the manhwa, uh, right? respect, that's the word I'm looking for, yeah. Yeah, why would you ever treat it like the manhwa when you could just, you know, get, make the man do capoeira for no reason? Why would they fucking look up... Oh, look, let's look up capoeira movements, because that's a... Like, why, why... How could they... I don't understand how that, that would happen. It's Brazilian. Yeah, but it's just, like... It's like taking half a step and then just giving up. Like, I don't understand. Like, that's, I don't, like you have to deliberately make that mistake. Like, you have to deliberately look up Kapara movements and add them to your thing, knowing that the character does Bra- Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I don't... It's even funnier when you realize that most people who do BJJ, right, are, like, they they naturally transition to MMA, where the first things you learn are, like, kickboxing and boxing and Muay Thai movements. So it's even funnier, because if you're going to argue that, then he would be doing something like that. But they're making him do capoeira for no reason. So it's just like, okay, he's not Brazilian. He lives in Korea. But okay, we're just gonna, whatever. Who cares? Yeah, you lost me there. All I was gonna say is like, it's kind of like the last ep- or not the last episode, the episode before last, where it's like, oh look, it's let's spend a, a whole episode building up Mira, and then she just gets a sheep shit beat out of her. Which maybe I wouldn't have had this issue with the manhwa because like where it's like, oh here's glasses, dude. Let's give him some context. Oh, he fucking died. Like, oh, sad. But um, because at least if like how the manhwa handles it might have been more surprising. I guess where it's this, it's like the guy shows up and like, oh yeah, he's obviously gonna die. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it would have seemed less obvious that would have happened if the glasses guy had the he- the he- edge up on him at the start of the, the yeah. encounter. You know, no, because they so. spend an entire like couple of chapters hyping up the commissioners, and then they get fucked. So it's like this episode. They just do it in an episode for this one because they spent like the entire first half, the first half doing like that stupid dumb like recap thing they do on like it's a TV show like they always do because you know it's a t- for a TV audience and they have to remind them because they're not paying attention. But again, you know. Why Why live in a world with subtlety? Why? Why do it? Uh-huh. <clears throat> it sounds like we're ready to move on to not I, this show. What do you What do you guys think about Jin's, Jin's grandpa? Dude, uh, He was fuck. an old martial arts guy, whatever, who was really strong. Old Seen it. Suck. God, you know. he has a lot. So, remember the part where, like, Jin gets, like, fucking, like, he's, he's in the room getting his punishment. They were, like, debating his punishment, right? Um... Jin's grandpa is like one of the most, the strongest people in Korea or something, right? He's like the strong. He's so strong that he beat like the Korea's six strongest people, right? And like they're looking for him, they want him to join, right? And so they the only reason they they brought Jin into that room is because they wanted to find out where his grandpa is. And then what happens in the manhwa is that like Jin just looks at them and tells them where he's at, <laughs> and then they call him, and then like they call him, and then Jin, and Jin's just Jin's grandpa is like, hey, put my grandson on the phone, and then he calls. He's like. Uh, what are, what are, what do we always do in situations like this? And that's when he says the line, "Um, do whatever the hell you want." And then that's when, like, you know, because events are just being moved around. Because why? Why not? Why not have? Why have fun? Let's move on to Kino because I'm just done. Okay. Furry. I was gonna say play the OP for ReZero, but yeah, it was a pause, so whatever. Furries. Because I pogged this whole episode. <laughs> I, I, I actually know I got a little weird champ this episode, not gonna lie. Go ahead and talk. A little fucking baby rage. Okay, what do you want me to talk about? How fucking great it is when, like, you know, you see Subaru come back to life in season one, you know, because I, 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 I'm super on this, uh, this idea this season of the changes that Subaru's already made in, in himself and the way he approaches the world and his situations compared to season one. Because I think that's something that's super obvious and it's super good. It, it like, it's super good to see Subaru be better as a person as the series goes and so um a great example i think of this episode is that this is like the first time we've seen him um come back right like he comes back from dying he has a plan 
He puts that plan into action. He's talking to people. He's like trying to find the best situation for everyone. And he's trying to make his plan happen, right? And I love seeing that happen in the series because I think that that's like, you know, it's such a change from how he is a lot. And, and I mean, obviously, you know, he's kind of like this after, after episode 18, but I think not at the level he is now where, you know, he stops for a little bit and he has to stop and think. This time he's like, no, this is what needs to be done. This is what we're going to do and this is how we're going to do it. And he fucking goes for it. And I love that. I also love, since I guess I'm just supposed to go off, I love the moment where he made it back to the fucking castle and he was talking to fucking Petra Mansion. and he gave Petra a hug. What? Mansion. Mansion, sorry. And he gave Petra a big fucking hug and he was just happy oh, to see her. Oh, God. And like happy that she wasn't dead yet and just like excited to see someone. You know what I mean? Like I you love know, that moment. You know what's crazy is that this time he, the way he's handling his trauma is way more like subtle now. Like he's holding back. Like this time mm-hmm. she was only able to tell because he was hugging her, but we never see his face anymore. So like he was well, just hugging her. And like his face, he had his eyes closed and when we open him, he instead i was expecting him to open him like determined and it shows us like super is ready to fuck shit up but this time it was like a he, stop. he opened his eyes when he was past that and he opened his eyes at a point where he was normal super like he was trying his best to not scare petra or anyone else so when he decided to open his eyes he opened him a time where he wasn't gonna cry or anything else he opened them when he was, um... Like, he's processing it way better now, which is really yeah, cool to see. Yeah, he's handling everything way better, and I fucking He's love able, because I, I always think about this with time travel stories, because, yeah, you're going to act differently on every repeat, but he's better at, like, hiding that something's changed, that he knows something new, right? Right. Um. Uh, yeah, he's treating it a lot better, which in turn makes people more willing to believe him. Yeah, you know, like with Garfield, right? Like, with Garfield, before, he would just be like, why aren't you letting me? He'd be, like, bitching and scream about him, but now he's just like, uh, okay, who gives a shit? Anyway, let's yeah, just Yeah, and he's, he's trying his best to... to and, and it's allowing people to trust him more because instead of it looking like Subaru has information he shouldn't let... He shouldn't. It's Subaru thinks this and I respect Subaru so I'm going to do what he wants. And it's so good to see. I fucking love it. God. You know what fucked me up? Was when, like, he took... um We took Ram to see Rem, right? The entire time, like, when he told her about Rem... And then he went to the mansion, and, they, and she like he just let her left, left her alone, alone in the room, right? Mm-hmm. And then she comes out, and then she's like, I don't, I don't know how to take this, well, how to take this, but she's like, if I know that if she were if she were my sister, and if I I know that if if she, if she were here right now, she would tell us to do anything for this for Rosewall Sama's sake or something like that. Which to yeah. me was like a little weak. I don't know if that's entirely true. I think he would just be like to do what do whatever you need. Well, what, I think, whatever needs to be well, done. Well, because you also have like Fred. I don't know. Hmm? Well, because, um, you know, th- there was a the whole thing that says because you have Frederica and Garfield and like, um, you know, Frederica is kind of like, you know, she's ready to like sacrifice herself. And like they compare that to Garfield. And, you know, well, I'm the oldest sister. And so but Ram's kind of putting that on Rem because, you know, also they also have the sisterly relationship. But like she doesn't actually know Rem. So she, I, you know, I think she's I think well, I think she's right in that Rem would tell them to to, to run. But, you know, not but not like, for that reason. Roswell Sama. Right, exactly. So she's she's half right, basically. But right. um, yeah. So that was that was my takeaway, at least. It was really cool that Frederica and uh, Petra were like, "No, we're gonna stay and fight together, even regardless of that." But I don't, it's interesting because it's now, especially that like now, Subaru is like protecting two that has like two girls that he's trying to fight for at once, mm-hmm. which is something that's really God. That ending fucked me. That ending oh fucked God. me. <laughs> was... There were so many parts about that ending, like. Even just before, like, the fact that... And here's something I love. And this is a change in Subaru. Um, you know, another another example of a change. You know, Petra died in this. Obviously, this isn't the, the ending we'll get, right? Like, Subaru's gonna die again next episode. But I love that, like, Petra, Frederica... Frederica... Whatever. I, I'm not even gonna attempt to say her name. It's Frederica. Shut up. And uh, Ram are dead, right? But, like, the fact that when Petra died and Subaru was holding onto her hand, he didn't break to a point of where he's just dying. catatonic or whatever yeah, yeah where he goes catatonic dies and has to come to terms with it when he gets up super is a man with a mission so he instantly gets up and decides i need to save rim no matter who dies to me the most important person in this building right now to me is rim and i'm going to save her and i fucking love like this this super that's like not just gonna let things that are bad happen to him completely stop him from achieving his goals like he's going for it and i love to see it my king but the fact that beatrice stops him and saves him 
Which I think that'll be super fucking important too, because I mean that's like that's that's more information we're gonna get. That's fucking. It, it's, that's... it's gonna be more information. We're gonna get more Beatrice opening up to Subaru, which is something that's slowly been. This level of like understanding that Beatrice and Subaru have for each other is is really interesting to see as well. well like I feel like th- this season alone has like made more info packed into it than we've ever had with ReZero before. It's insane. Like we're just fucking like getting fucking mind like mind fuck after mind fuck every single episode. It's kind of insane. Yeah, it's really good. It's so good. Another thing I loved uh, that has a, is like when Subaru was talking to uh, Roswell, the expression on Roswell's face was. Is that the first time you've ever seen him break his like little fucking sh- well, shitty grin? It felt like Roswell was. It almost felt like instead of it being a shitty grin, it looked to me like Roswell. For at least a lot of while Subaru was talking, like um, he was like. No, is it like you know how his default expression is a shit eating grin? Like yeah. this is the first time it ever broke that like yeah, it face. It felt like Roswell was kind of almost himself with Subaru and was like like he was uh accepting Subaru on like for what Subaru was saying, understanding of what Subaru is saying, and like almost like I almost like proud that Subaru was coming to him and saying, like, this is what needs to happen. You know what I mean? Like he was uh I don't know. It, he, you know what? The look on Roswell's face was what I'm sure the look on my face was here in Subaru do all this shit. I loved it. <laughs> no. Shut up. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm not I'm pulling a craft I'm not talking anymore. Oh, okay. Craft What do you have got to say about this episode? Um well something we skipped over is um when he suggested that he do the trial instead of Amelia and she kind of like Oh yeah. You can't trust me with this and I'm just like, ah, Amelia no <laughs> Cause that because that obviously wasn't the way he should have done it. He should have like like cause like I think because there's certain things right with the last in the last loop him allowing amelia to do it instead gained some respect for like from garfield where like this time when he said he was yeah, gonna he do it himself right. he, he didn't do that so he didn't have that respect so when he tried to do it garfield's like shut the fuck up you idiot like like there has to be like a way like where he has to get amelia to like ask like be open to the idea of him helping her instead of just forcing it upon her which is I feel like that because like if he just forces it upon her like this, it's not going to go the same way. So it's like they have to like kind of come to like a concession. Haha, <laughs> Nar- Sasuke, um, <laughs> conflict and compromise, fairy tale. Why fairy tale? <laughs> okay, shut the fuck up. Um, the only other thing or the that we haven't really talked about. Well, we kind of it kind of came up briefly, but like in my notes, I have Petra, good girl, because they were in the mansion and she was help you know using her her you know thing to tie up his hand. Okay, I know she's like blood. twelve craft store. Yeah, <laughs> you can tone it down. I just thought no, I'm not no, done I, no, I'm yet. Fine. Why did they make okay. her taller and look more mature? What the fuck? Well, look, my the net. I I, mean, I think it's the outfit, honestly. Um, like maybe she did get a little taller, but like the outfit's a big thing. But anyway, I was going to say, and then my next, mm. the next, the note right after that is, wow, fuck everything because you know, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, fuck everything. Um, no, I like Petra a lot. I also, you know, we, I haven't aped out enough over Frederick had taken all her clothes off and being all look. Okay. So I have two, first of all, she did evolved. Sure. Okay. <laughs> 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 fuck you <laughs> but i'm just ignoring that so you know how like there was her uh like, okay she um like she, she you know she was naked and hot and her tits were out right and that was great that was 10 out of 10 and then she you know uh, went she went beast mode she decided to turn into a big animal lady and you know that's not very cool i very kind of wasn't a fan of that but here's where it really lost me and I mentioned this in the review Starlight episode, which isn't out yet. I hate when characters in anime talk telepathically. Like, what I mean by that is, like, when they're talking and their fucking mouths aren't moving, okay? Because, like, Frederica was talking to him, but her mouth in her beast mode wasn't moving. But, like, they could hear her, and it didn't sound like she was talking telepathically. It sounded like, you know, it had, like, the same kind of reverb that everyone else did in the scene did. Because she was, her words were really coming out of her, her fucking big giant animal form's mouth. But then her mouth wasn't moving. But then her mouth ro- moved when she fucking beast worked. When a character talks, their mouth should be goddamn moving. It shouldn't be sitting there open, ooh, and they're saying words. It's ridiculous. Stop doing it. Just make the fucking mouth move. So what I'm understanding <laughs> here is that Vindy says that furry shouldn't be allowed to speak. No, furries should open and close their mouth when they speak like a normal fucking person. Well, maybe they're trying to make the furries feel more comfortable because their fursuits don't allow them to do such a thing. Shut up. You know I'm right. If your fursuit doesn't open and close as your lips open and close, get a new fucking fursuit. 
You know how expensive <laughs> fursuits are? I don't know. I'm assuming those things are fucking expensive. <laughs> like, I legit don't know. Look, look, I you legit know what? have That's no idea. That's the exact words that someone would say when they do look, know, okay. they were trying yeah. to hide look, that fact very my badly. Only exp- <laughs> look, listen, like, the only know, reason I... Not that I would no, know, listen, that the I only reason I know that they're... Right no, now. shut up. Type in no. fur and then S, and I want to see what autocorrect says, and if it's bolded, we'll know that you've searched it before. Listen, I so do you remember when Kra- when Jack Films was like up to win the fucking uh, right. streamies or whatever, and he he said like if I How win the streamies, I'll go I'll go stuff. up and wi- and wear a fucking fursuit. suit, and then he then like he actually was nominated, uh, so then he actually he unironically had to wear a fursuit, suit, but he did it. Forty five hundred or more for a full suit, where there are several hundred more charges lasts usually between one and three k. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. So like Jack Films was like, yeah, and I said I would wear a fursuit suit to the to the streamies. But then I fucking looked at how much they were and I couldn't, so I just bought a Garfield outfit instead. So that's the only reason I know they're expensive. <laughs> Could you imagine spending four thousand dollars to cosplay? Why an would you ever actually though? Like on a, why would you? <laughs> Dude, sometimes... Dude, you know, furries just... are loaded. I don't know what it is. Like, I hear you can make a shitload of... If you are willing to commission furry porn, you can well, charge of certain amounts and people will still pay. Like, well, actually... Th- like, you've, you've probably seen heard of crowdfunded games. Like, Undertale, with the fucking... There, there's the fucking hidden Do character. Do not call Undertale a furry game. No, I no, 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 no. There I'm, are I'm furries not, in not Undertale. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm saying that there was a reward tier where people could put care. Like if you, if you got that reward tier, you could put like your character would be in the game. One of them was the spider bitch, and people like that character. The other one is literally hidden behind like an impossible find Easter egg because it's some gr- weird fetish furry character, and that kind of shit happens a lot in indie games that a lot for crowdfunding where Yo. you can put your own stuff in the game. And then I'm actually work. Chad-brained. Hold on. I'm actually Chad-brained for what I'm doing for my webcomic then. I'm, my oh, brain's you're fucking allow massive. furries to put their, uh, fur, their well, fetishes in your... Well, uh, no, comic? I'm not going to allow that. I have... Well... Can I put Can I put me and what... Watch well, I'm thinking about it now because there's a lot of money in that. Hold on. There's well, you know, can you blame me, man? I'm a clout-chasing anti-tuber <laughs> who only cares about money, which is why I make no. anime YouTube videos. Can I put me and Watiko in a panel kissing, smooching? Is well, that allowed? Wadako is not a character in my webcomic. I know, but can if he, he pays can enough, pay, though, can she can become one? Can I pay one? enough for both pay of us to f- be in it kissing? Pay me the amount for a low-level fursuit, and I will allow what it to happen. What would be... So that one can buy a low-level fursuit afterwards? What's more likely? You and me as we are kissing, or me and Wadako kissing? You, me, in you the, and Wadako kissing. The thing, in the thing. You and Wadako okay. kissing. What about in real life, though? Like, me and you kissing in real life, or... You will have to pay me <laughs> an entire year's salary, all right? Dude, I don't make that much. Then shut the fuck up. I make eight fifty an hour. Don't say that to me. Better step up your game. Take more hours, bitch. No. <laughs> I'm a high-class woman. <laughs> Can we move on? Can we move on? Or is there something you wanted to say? Because we're this episode was made for the furries, so we gotta just move on. Um, I like Ram a lot. Inferior Ram? That's She's not so true. She's very different. Ram and Rim have very different uh, appeals. Yeah, Rim and Rim sizes. is fine, and Rom is I share drinks with her. Yeah, exactly. Like, Rim, Rim just like, exists, like, like whatever. Rim is like Rim is like should be like. Oh, Nemanja, did you fucking hear that? Nemanja, like, I better Rim see a fucking do, comment Rim from you on this Rim episode Rim right Rim now. Kind of Look, will be like, I'll do whatever you want, master. I just love yo. You. And it's like, Look, I that's kind of nice. It's kind of epic. It's kind of nice. Kind of epic. Girl, because that implies badness, but I would say she's down like on the like, ranking. Oh like, wait, like, hold on, like, hold like, on, like, hold on. Like, she's so subservient, but Ram's like gonna call me names and spit on me, and you know what? Okay, that's because you two are masochists. <laughs> you two are masochists. I mean, that's why. I podcast with you. I don't know what you expect from us. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> true. 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 You guys, what? You guys have first suits you want to buy too? No, I don't want to buy a fursuit. Oh, you're fucking lying to me, Mr. B-Stars. No, I am not. Shut the fuck up, Mr. B-Stars. Okay. I don't want to hear that shit from you of all people. Wanting to have sex with Legosi doesn't mean I want to be a wolf. Oh, okay. I uh, still want to be a human. Well, oh, you I... weird him out, Vindy. Think of Legosi's feelings. I, I'll i become a vegan, and then I'll think I'm just an herbivore. That's not... <laughs> Legosi turned on. Oh. Uh... <laughs> That was can we close. please can we please move on? Crass likes that one. <laughs> can we please move on? <laughs> yeah, no, I did like it. Anyway, uh, Origairu. Origa- oh, oh, here we go. Origairu. I'm kidding. I like the show. <laughs> Okay, so I actually um 
Uh, there was I read the lyrics for the opening this time, and uh, the lyrics are super fucking good. Like the entire thing's talking about how like you know it's it's talking about the cliche fairy tale movie right and how like the typical story goes because haha this entire it's fitting to the show because the show called my team romantic comedy went went wrong or something like that so then the fucking opening talks about like you you usually usually what happens is everything ends with a happily ever after and you're expected to just like everything everything's supposed to just be good after that right and they're sitting there waiting for the ending that we're sitting there waiting for the ending that's never going to happen right that's never gonna happen the way we want it. That's the entire opening thing. It's so fucking good though, uh, because especially with this episode, this episode with Yui, poor Yui. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, Yui stuff was good. <laughs> oh my god. I love Chad Shinibyo-kun. That man is a fucking hero. <laughs> Did you see him on the phone? He's like, I have, I have found my allies. I will leave now to gather them. And he fucking slams the money on the table and walks out. And Hachiman's like, that's embarrassing. That's fuck fucking Chadley, though. Holy shit. <laughs> and I was like, let's fucking go. What the fuck? Look, you know what? At AX, at AX 2021, we are going to fucking go somewhere. And then one of us has to fucking like be like, I must leave now. Slam the money on the table and be like, my comrades are waiting. And then walk out saying no. that shit. So that's going to be Vindy. Well, Vinny's no. like the Vinny's like big, so he like he's the tallest of us. He has the most. Wait, like, oh person, my so he, would, God. He, would, he would he would stand out the most doing it. I think. Is that a fat joke? No, you're literally like you, what Vinny. You're literally like three inches, three at least three or four inches behind, taller you than me. Want to see my three well, yeah, inches? Like six, what the fuck? Oh, six six. Holy shit! Yeah, you you have almost half a foot on me, Vinny. You're the, just you just and you've li- literally said that like you know in the past you've been like twice my weight. So you know. What the? But that's because I'm a skinny what the bitch. Fuck. Kraft said, "Fuck." Kraft Shore said, "You fat little bitch. You are gonna be and the we one thought, who we does it." What the one was the toxic one? <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Or <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, I like this episode. I like Hachiman. He's a sweet boy. Hachiman's so fucking good. He's such a fucking hero now. Like holy shit, he he's really such a fucking... is. There's so much, and you know what he does that makes him such a giga Chad. You want to know what he did this episode? What did made he do? him one of the best uh, objectively? Are you gonna talk about how he shits on tomatoes? What are you talking about? I'm um, just talking about how he's objectively the best anime character of all time. I mean, tomatoes kind of fucking suck. I mean, he kind of fucking hits the nail on the head. He kind of be spitting some facts. Tomatoes fucking suck. Listen, okay. So here's an actual scientific fact. Pigs will eat anything, including other dead pigs, but they will not touch tomatoes. Did you know that? Because they're too acidic. You're not supposed to be eating tomatoes. I'm like, sorry, for your own what? health reasons. <laughs> I'm serious. That's an actual thing. Don't, well, don't, nobody tell what the what about uh, pineapples and lemons. No, no, hold on. Shut up. First of all, don't shit on pineapples or lemons. Both of those are goats. They're way more acidic. I'm just using his okay. reasoning to... I don't care how acidic they are. My but throat, I'm... I had to pineapple this morning. It was fucking great, my, but my throat is still sore from it. I'm sorry? He was deep throwing that, okay. that shit. He was deep throwing that shit. He was deep throwing that shit. He's like, I've, I've <laughs> eaten like I've eaten like I've just eaten lemons like oranges. I, mean, I wouldn't say my throat hurts. Like, Vindy, 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 Vindy. So this is what Crasher was doing. Crasher took the Crasher took the lemons. It's are literally a specific. Are you that SpongeBob t- <laughs> character? Like I wake up, my boats are made of paper. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is what. No, no, no. So this is what Crasher did. Crasher took the lemon. He was like. The problem with lemons isn't that they're acidic. It's exactly what Hachiman said. It's those things are all gloopy. It's that they're slimy and gross. Their flavor also just isn't as good as yeah. unless they're put into like, like salsa or, a, or a pasta or sauce. They're good in salsa. They're good in pasta sauce. They're good as ketchup. They're good in any other form except their tomato raw form. Tomato soup is good. The problem with tomatoes, I would say, isn't the flavor. It's the consistency. They're slimy. And like, sorry, I'm not French, but I don't want to eat a slug. And I don't want to eat the plant version of a slug. You know? Tomatoes suck. Tomatoes are gross and slimy and gloopy and goopy. And there's nothing... The only good thing about tomatoes is what you can make out of them. You know? Yeah, you, they, can, you can make some seeds, good-ass right? shit with them. The that's not the problem. That's, that's not where the problem. The, that's where all the liquidy part is in the middle. The actual, like, firm part of tomato is perfectly fucking fine. Oh, my fucking God. No. We're just... 
Can we just fucking I have tried, yes. look, I have tried on many an occasion. Tomatoes like, are no, perfectly what? fucking fine, you spaghetti <laughs> hater. I hate you. I'm no, gonna what the fuck are you talking about spaghetti life. hater? We just no, no, established. No, 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 no. My hate for spaghetti is... Okay, no, no, no. Post, pasta sauce is not spaghetti. My hate for spaghetti is completely different to my hate for potato. Okay, for now we're now we're on opposite sides. Picky, look at it. Listen, audience, listen to these. Pi- like, what the what? I kind of understand because his body hates him and he's allergic to like five hundred different things. Vindy's just a picky no, baby. Listen, I'm not a picky. Look, okay. We tomatoes. Okay. So tomatoes, <laughs> slimy, goopy. Do you hate broccoli tried... too and no, green bell broccoli's, peppers? Broccoli's fucking delicious. So broccoli's green bell freaking epic. Broccoli's pretty epic. Broccoli's look. mid, but anyway. No, oh my if god! If you steam that shit with a little bit of salt, that shit's. You could also have literally fine. any other steamed vegetable. I'm just saying. Okay. Well, broccoli is okay, well, a cruciferous vegetable, so it's also really I good can, for you. I can eat broccoli raw. I don't care. But like, look. Okay, so if I'm gonna if I'm gonna eat like I've tried a bunch of times. I'm like, okay, let me get tomatoes on a burger this time. Or let me get tomatoes on a sandwich. Never good. The problem with spaghetti is that that's it, I, like I feel like I'm eating hair. Like it, it's it's gross. It's too. You stringy. haven't eaten hair what then. Ca- what what is wrong with you, Vindy? I can't Actually, stand what's... spaghetti's too thin and stringy. Like if you like make like both pasta and put like some pasta sauce. Your craft store, come here for a right? second. Some ravioli, well, yeah. with some pasta sauce. Hey, craft. Oh yeah, um, you, no, you spaghetti. literally like noodles, so you like yeah. Hey, craft store, come here yeah. for a second. Come here for a second. I like yes. all noodles that th- aren't named spaghetti. Do you think? Do you think fucking hair? Vindy's hair like is like each follicle is like as thick as a fucking spaghetti noodle? Because that's fucking scary. Because that's fucking spooky that he's saying it tastes feels like hair, right? <laughs> like that's a fucking so Play Doh doll. Like you know, you stick the Play Doh <laughs> in and you like squish it down, and like the spaghetti hair comes out. Like is that Vindy's hair? <laughs> Fuck y'all. You know I'm right. Also, fun fact about pineapples, right? Everybody associates pineapples with fucking like Hawaii or whatever. That that shit's from Africa, homie. Like. Don't don't even fucking. They brought okay, that shit over from Africa. I thought you were gonna say everyone associates pineapples with pina colada, which they also. Like, yes, well, sir. But also, I was gonna bad. say like, yeah, they are acidic, but also they literally have um an enzyme in them that like is used as a meat tenderizer and will actually like d- like dissolve meats and flesh. Well, like there's well, literally it's good. it's, it's a brom- good. Bromelain. Kill me. I don't know. Kill I me. Eat pineapples so. because I want to die. I don't eat pineapples that often, <laughs> so it's like I don't even know what you're talking about. Well, try some. And then die. They're okay. They're whatever. Why have we gone off on this lot? Long because you were the one who posted this fucking squeak I'm not cat. a picky eater. I just know what I like and I know what's bad. Yeah, like how I want Yohani to step on my face. What? Right? Like, look. Tomatoes, bad. Pickles, bad. Pickle, right? Rick? But, like, onions, great. You know, broccoli, delicious. You know? Pickle Rick. Fucking celery sublime. You know, like, there are things that are good. I mean, celery doesn't have any flavor, but it's good because, like, there's not a lot to, like, get mad about. Yeah, like, I can eat celery and it can fill my tummy up, but I'm just eating water, right? Why do you you like like, the worst vegetables? Or you can be, like, crash from just deep throat. What are you going to say next? That, like, cauliflower isn't good? Cauliflower is whatever. It's, like, it's mid. Cauliflower is, like, shitty broccoli. It is shitty broccoli, but it's but mid. But both are good. Well, broccoli, that's no like bro- saying, well, broccoli that's is like mid. Saying, that's, like saying, that's like saying, like, broccoli is a 10 and cauliflower is three points less than that. Like, I'm sorry. It's more like broccoli is a 6 and cauliflower is three points less than, or, no, than that. No, the two best vegetables are broccoli and carrots. This is objective fact. Everyone knows this. <sighs> carrots are gross, but Did anyway. you say subjective fact or objective fact? Objective. I'm sorry. Did you say carrots are gross? Yes. Carrots are epic. Carrots are fucking carrots epic. Carrots are amazing. You need to calm down, Crafts. I can eat whole-ass, long-ass carrots. Like, oh, fucking, listen to this. Oh, uh, uh, hold, on. Hold, I can hold on, eat, hold I can on, fucking baby um, carrots. Like you know what, like Craftsdorf? Like- I'm noticing a thread here. I'm noticing a small little trend Turns here. Turns out like, the Craftsdorf's the picky eater who hates all veggies. Well, I'll eat them. I just prefer like literally anything else. I'm a little like concerned now. Wants his nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nuggies like, are vegetables. Strictly in vegetables here. Nuggies are a vegetable? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? <laughs> How'd you like, get out of my fucking Google search history? I found it. I found what I needed, friends. I found what I needed. This will stop it. This is good fucking food. No, see, nuggies are healthy because they're no. healthy for the soul. No, look at this good fucking food right here. Dinosaur nuggies, those grow from the earth. I am looking at good fucking food. Be quiet for a second. Tree in my backyard I have posted good fucking food <laughs> in the fucking Weeb Club chat. Shut up. Am yes. I right? Or am yes. I right, yes, gentlemen? Right. They're hot Everybody they're clap. Pictures, yeah, exactly. that's like I love. Yeah, Iroha was crying in the last one. That's what. Okay, you, you know, we're moving on. Huh? Speaking of crying, anyway. Speaking of crying, um, Yui cried this episode. It was very sad. 
I don't even want to talk about the episode anymore. I want to fucking mauled over food for another fucking Well, can we minutes. move on, please? I'm trying my hardest to fucking I feel move like on. Now we have to do like a vegetable. <laughs> no. Fucking... Vegetable tier list. Let's it. fucking go. A veggie, a vegetable stop tier it. List at some point. Fucking stop it, both of you. Comment on this episode oh if you want to see god. a vegetable tier list. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> we need to talk about this episode. Okay, talk about the episode. Talk about it. Okay, fucking okay. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Yui this episode, Yui and fucking Hachime were fucking in a, in a fucking, I, I, I was about to call that shit the rant cafe and I was about to punch myself with the fucking balls. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Net cafe. Anyway, they were in a net cafe and they were watching fucking like generic American prom movie, right? Could have been watching American 16 TV. Candles or fucking, you know, fucking who gives a fuck when they were watching it. And then fucking Yui fucking, like, lays her head on Hachiman's shoulder. She's faking, you know, faking sleep. She's like, I wish this, I wish this moment would be like, was like, I wish this day would never end, right? And she's like, I know. It's it's like, I faked, I faked sleeping. And I know that, like, this, that eventually we're going to have to separate, right? And then nothing, and then we're never, and, you know, it's not, nothing's ever going to happen the way I want it to be. So just let this moment happen a little longer let me have a moment where i can just cry without him seeing or something like that and it was like stop it stop hurting me what a guy do stop hurting me stop it the whole last scene was good it was so good because especially like she's also not being honest with herself right at this point she's she's the like she's pointed out that like i've been lying to myself this entire time right that everything will be fine if I just ignore these feelings. But it's gonna have to happen soon. She has to tell him eventually, right? If they want their relationship to be functional. But it's not going to be functional because right now she's still fucking hiding her true feelings. Like, this show's not gonna fucking reach its fucking thematic climax until everybody fucking acknowledges their own feelings. Ah! And then the next episode preview maybe lose my shit because some Kino shit's about to happen next episode. Ah, what did you guys have to say about this episode? Aside from fucking vegetables, you two I, fucking. I was about to make a fucking joke about that and say tomatoes are. Yeah, fine. okay. Shut the, fuck up, shut the fuck up about vegetables. Jesus Christ, shut up about vegetables. Actually, tomatoes. There's two kinds are... of vegetables: the kinds I want to eat and the kinds I want to fuck. What? <laughs> yeah, the kinds I want to fuck, like Maki Nishikino. What? Hey, okay, we stopped talking about REM. Anyway, moving on. Um... <laughs> oh my fucking god. You're a fucking monster. You're a terrible person. You're awful. You're you're a horrible human being. You're, you're awful, right? Like you're just you're you're just fucking gross. Like what the fuck? What is wrong? With oh, you? We are so lucky that we're talking about another a show that actually has someone like a, a, in a coma that I can make that joke. Like, Dude, I know. Otherwise, like, I was just struggling. I was like, what's a hot anime character in a coma? I couldn't think of one. <laughs> no, we literally have one the same season. I know, I know. I'm, I'm so glad. Afraid. I'm glad. Because if we didn't, like, I'd have to go, like, way out there, you know? <laughs> yeah, that w- the joke wouldn't be as immediate. Like, we literally talked about it earlier. Anyway. Um... Oh, my God, you too. <laughs> This, dude, I can't believe that somehow this episode, I honestly feel like what the what in Craft Store for Rolls have been reversed. Honestly, <laughs> I think what's happened is, like, it's really fucking hot in my room right now. Like, tomorrow is literally going to be, like, the hottest day I remember in the city period. I, I got to look and see if there's any other days. That, so, and it's already, uh, it's hotter today than it's been most of the summer. And, like, I normally, like, like earlier, like, I didn't read any comments at all, I don't think. Like, maybe one. Um... I, Cause I just, I just, I don't know. I just don't have energy to move the podcast along, so I don't care anymore. Well, like here's um. what I'll say. All right, so normally this image of these wolves, right, <laughs> is me and what are the laughing ones, and Crafts is the one in the middle who wants to kill him. But this himself. time, what's in the middle? And this time, what's in the middle? And now it's me and Crafts on the end, and I don't know how to feel about this. Like this is a our dynamic is shifted. <laughs> You know, because I was just going to say, if you're going to talk about vegetables, you can fuck. You can always go to Domestic Conajo, so, like, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's go to fucking... No, I, okay. I have more to say about this episode. Okay, um, then talk about it. Um, I liked... I don't know. There was a few different conversations I liked. All of them. What I thought was interesting about Hachiman's plan is that it's it's kind of the same thing he always does, where he's, like, making himself out to be the bad guy. Like, oh, I'm going to do this worst prom that's going to make theirs look good, in, the other one look good in comparison. But this time he's doing it with other... with Yui, and he's getting help. Like, he's not doing... He's, he's not pulling doing people alone. in with him. He's, like, right. allying with them. He's, so he's using his same tactic, but he's not, like, doing it alone. So it's, you know, he's not the only one taking the fall. Which, which I think is the is problem everybody else had. 
I yes, which is, what's, so I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how that unfolds, but what were you going to say, Mindy? What's also interesting about it is that he's setting it up as if it's a competition, but he's also setting it up as if it's a competition he's planning to lose. Yeah, right. Which is, um, like, really fucked, because, like, like, what he's doing with it, right, is that, like, he's like, hey, this is, uh, you know, like, this is a competition I want to, I want to have. Um, well, yeah, because, like, I think what you're saying is, like, because he, he uh, what, like, at the beginning of the show, he's, like, competition with you, you know, whoever, like, fulfills the, like, that was just brought up, like, an episode, last, last episode, uh, very recently. And, you know, now he's competing with the proms, but he's also, like, deliberately trying to lose to help Yukino. So it's, like, he's not really competing. Like, is that what you're trying to say? Or something like that? Well, like, no, like, yeah, he's not actually competing, right? Because, like, when you're actually having a competition, you know, you're trying to win. But he's inherently trying to lose because he's trying to give Yukino the win. And, like, that is, again, if anything, it's just feeding that codependency. Because by, uh, um, because, like... Yeah, because like, like, if Yukino can't do it... Like with on her, her own, her... instead of him beating her and showing her where she's flawed, he's, okay, I'm going to make me and other people the bad guys so that you can win, right? Nothing's yeah, like changed it, the way Yeah, he's when doing you put it. it like that, it's like, it's now it's become a worse version of what he normally does because he's dragging, like, you know, no, like, what, it's one person, like, getting shit on who's, like, you know, delivering, setting himself to be shit on versus now he's dragging other people in, along with him, you yeah, know? Yeah, and, and it's, it's even worse for Yukino. You know? what he's doing because like he's pretending like yeah, he's and it's, fighting yes. her on this equal ground and trying to actually engage with her he's still person. trying to consider her feelings yeah well, well yeah and it's, and it's he's considering her feelings and not doing what he thinks is best he's doing what um and now like she has to deal with the fact that you know more people are gonna like suffer because she's not good enough basically like yeah, because and, and, she and, can't just do it alone now now hachiman and yui and everyone else they brought in is potentially going to get in trouble or yeah, like and, you know and look on worse. On top of that, it's going to be this thing where like she does, she didn't, act, and th- this episode actually even had a line really close to that where it's like you know they were like, well they don't want the prom anyways, right? And it's like instead of it being that Yukino you know, earns this victory by changing people's minds, Hachiman's tricking them into going with what Yukino know wants, as opposed to Yukino you know, actually creating something and doing something on her own that's going to help people. What Hachiman's trying to do right now is, like, inherently... Like, he's not... Like, Yukino's not going to get a win here, right? Hachiman's going to give her the win. Yeah. It, it's probably also going to be tied to the fact that Yui's also on Hachiman's team, right? And especially with, like, what the next episode preview has, I'm interested because, like, hopefully something happens to where, like, you it has it's tied to, like, Yui finally, like, being forced into a situation where she has to admit how she feels. Hopefully that some, something along those lines where like this, they force this to become either an actual competition or they all just eventually just end up actually working together to help her or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Fucking there's, there was some, there was some shit. There was some shit being shown. I, I was I, like, listen, I was like, this episode's ending was really good, but then they showed like the next episode preview and they sh- flashed some characters and they flashed some things happening. That was kind of crazy. And Hachiman doing some things that were actually kind of crazy. Yeah. And like I said, one thing I really hope happens this season is that Hayato becomes involved too on one of the sides because because uh, I always like imp- like he's kind of is like the anti Hach like like anti Hachiman in certain areas, mm-hmm. which I really hope he becomes involved in this in this se- in this in this season. Yeah, which he probably will. well, yeah, I think there's a lot that can happen here, and, and I think there's a lot to to talk about, and, and like. I think that what's interesting is, like, you know, we've we've been talking this entire season about how far Hachiman's come, right? Say, I almost feel like it's the exact same conversation with Subaru. The only difference is, like, Hachiman's come so far, but he's still doing what he's always done, you know? Hachiman's still going about these things, and I bet it's honestly the same fucking conversation with Subaru. The show just hasn't gotten there yet, where, like, yes, he's he's better than he used to be, but he's still trying to treat these problems the same way he did and he's not there yet and he doesn't understand that like the best situation for this honestly for everyone would be if he actually challenged yukino you know, and used his understanding of people and like you know the ability like cuz he he is good at like understanding what would work with with in in a, in a context using that to create a prom proposal that would actually work well here's the thing vindy hachiman's strength you see is being self-aware Yui's strength okay. is being no. aware, of being able we to read the room, and Yukino's ability is uh, independence. We're you see, we're you see, because Oregairu is not about. Ro- Sorry, 
T- my teen romantic comedy, aka Snafu, <laughs> is not about romance. All right. You know, we'd actually gone a little bit without bringing up the the WB, but anyway. It's so um, funny though. It's so I, funny. I couldn't do well, it. No, I I I do think that like um, I mean yeah, like I think that like you know Hachiman like uh, essentially what I would love and what I thought he was gonna do before this episode kind of showed that this isn't what he's gonna do is the situation where what his plan is is to um like he decides to like uh i guess um, actually be serious and competing against her yeah ser- be serious compete and beat yukino right and use his understanding of the people around him <laughs> to what you heard, what are you fucking sorry laughing? you heard it here first boys <laughs> v- vindy said the optimal solution is to beat the woman that's Shut what he up. said you know I, we, what we I made we that. made jokes about this last time it's so funny though. Yeah, you know, it is. You know, you know what? You like Vinny talking about this made me realize something interesting about those three quote unquote strengths that these characters have. Man of a Matt's so fucking wrong because they're actually a fucking reverse of each one. Because as you just established, Hachiman's really good at understanding what people actually think about, right? He's right, able which to. Which is like his entire character's. Co- and the problem is, the, and this is something that's a really important distinction is he's really good at understanding how people feel until it comes to him. Yeah, because he's not self-aware. However, as this episode also establishes, Yui's super self-aware about everything that she feels, right? Right. She knows that there is no that the end is in sight for their relationship soon and that she knows that she's lying to herself. She's hyper aware of that fact. And this <laughs> season is also established that Yukino is super dependent on other people. So I'm just sitting here thinking about that for a second. I'm like, holy shit, this show is like literally saying the opposite of everything Man of Matt said in that video. It's so funny. It's so much right. worse now. That video is so much worse now every yeah, single well, week. Yeah, and it's it just, just like, I, I really want it to be the... I, I cannot wait for the... Uh... The eventual ending of, you know, Man May Matt, or not Man May Matt. <laughs> uh, you know what? I would believe Vindy said he wants Man May Matt to end. <laughs> you know, I, I believe, agree. Let's go. Just kidding. I believe Man May Matt really. was in high school the same way Hachi Man was. The only difference is no cute girls talked to uh, Man May Matt, so he ended up getting this super warped perception of how things work. He ended up just being that's why episode thinks, one Hachi Man. You know what? That's why he thinks Hachi Man is self aware. Because, like, you know, Hachi Man's right with everything he's saying. <laughs> That's why it's not about romance, because those girls don't actually like him. Hachiman said reality, all women are my they enemies. They don't want romance, so, they want companionship. Right, and he's completely missing it, because he actually completely identifies with Hachiman. He's like, <laughs> Hachiman's so smart, he's so self-aware, he's so cute too. Girls, you should call him. You know what I mean? Like That's what he's doing. He probably right? has a film degree. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Hachiman Lee uh, graduates to go to film between, school. The only difference between him and Hachiman is Hachiman reads all the time and Manway Matt watches film for his <laughs> film degree. Because reading's scary. But he left that to Melvin. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, no. should we stop talking about Oragairu now? Well, is there anything no. else you guys want to say? No, um, I, I think I got it out. I thought it was <laughs> like, because Yui showed him the picture of her and her mom. On the trip, oh, yeah, and he yeah, just yeah, went, yeah, "Wow, yeah. your mom's hot, <laughs> dude! What a Chad! I wish what I was that Chadley. Then if a girl showed me a picture of me, and then he should have said, "Maybe you'll look like that mom, eventually." Like, oh, we... dude, your mom's so fucking. You no, should... And then he follows it up with like, then he follows it up with like, "Hey, haha, there's some good prospects for you in the future, haha." Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I want to see that shit. Anyway, <laughs> he's so Chadley. I love Hodgman. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was also the Iraha stuff, where she like she's talking about like, God. Um, what are you gonna, or yeah, well, like, I guess, the, like, um, you know, because, like, she, um, like, they called back to it when he was talking to his sister, which their, their, their interactions always fun anyway, but, like, you know, oh, a choice has to be made, and, like, because she, you know, or no, he, do you want, like, do you want that? I, I went back and rewatched it because, you know, do you want the red bean soup or the coffee? And she took the, the red bean soup, which, you know, um, but, you know, she left him the coffee that she, you know he he always drinks like he's fucking obsessed with that shit you know so she's thinking more of him than her by ma- when making her choice so i don't know it was i thought it was interesting to think about mm-hmm. um god one more one more small thing before we move on it is just like i loved the interaction where uh yui goes like you know sometimes you're incredibly dumb and he goes wrong sometimes i'm incredibly smart i fucking loved that shit that shit was so funny <laughs> 
<laughs> he just fucking turned it on her. Oh, and another joke I liked is like, well, first they do the the um, him and his sister do the like the, they sync up the elementary school like graduating oath. Like they're they're both like into it. Like and then and then he's like, I don't have that much experience graduating. I've done it what twice. Like <laughs> you dumb bitch. That's it. fucking funny. He's so funny all the time. Like, uh, Hachi was the kind of guy I would want to be friends with, but also want to tell him constantly he's a fu- Like, okay, I'll, I'll mention this again when we get to Rent a Girlfriend. I want to be what the Chad is, what the Chad friend is to the main character of Rent a Girlfriend, to Hachi, man. You know what I mean? Like, I would to sit by this guy and beat the, like, punch his fucking face and be like, dude, you're fucking stupid. But then also, like, be his home of me, you know? So, Vindy really likes beating people, is what I've gathered from this conversation. Shut up, <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. He said abuse is super epic, is what he said. You're wrong. Um, anyway, um, I'm ready to move on to Rent a Girlfriend. Yeah, I'm ready to move on One thing before we move on, what Luna says that you're, you're sexy and he wants to give you a smooch. I was told to tell you that. Uh, we can move on. Why? He asked me to tell you that. Why did he say, why? And I'm a slut to the people, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, play the OP for Rent a Girlfriend. Okay, well y'all, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Because I kind of have quite a bit to say about Rent a Girlfriend this week, as always. But y'all talk about it. I need to. Are you right, ready? I'm gonna talk pants. about it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you I have something very important too. Go, you go. Are you go, ready? Or, are you ready? Are you ready? I have nothing. Go ahead, go. <laughs> Once upon a midnight fapping, while he sat there madly whacking, whacking despite his open sore, suddenly there came a tapping, rapping on what the what's chamber door. What the what? said Craftsworth. You whore! We can hear you from next door. Stop your fapping, I implore. Quoth what the what? Nevermore. That was from the Reddit from so long ago. No, that was from what? I don't know. I didn't see it. When was that? That was from the Reddit from so long ago or something was, like that. I was quoting this, so whatever. Oh, yeah, I know. Then somebody posted that shit to the Reddit then again. Or I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah, no, that was from April. I just saw it now, so yeah. I thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah you're, right. you're an idiot. I you're saw it now. It was moron. posted to the Twitter just now, so fuck it. I don't care. You're a fucking moron, dude. It was funny. <laughs> Yeah, no, I literally yeah, don't have anything. Yeah, because he fapped an episode, and that's yeah, he what this, this episode. He fucking so. fapped this episode and had post-nut clarity and realized that, that <laughs> Mizuhara is actually hotter. Which, you know what? That's the best decision I've seen this entire show. The fact that he realized that Mommy's stupid, ugly, and shit. Like, actually, she's just actually ugly. Like, I don't understand why he's, like, hot like hot and bothered for her, which is, like, objectively the worst character design out of all the four girls in this show. Like, he, she's so bad. She's so bad. Why Why does he think she's hot? Like, who on planet Earth thinks this blonde bitch God. is hot? That fucking image you posted, um, that Murrow fucking shit, is maybe the funniest thing I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> oh, if you thought that was funny, you should, like, uh, read this the part where I fucking, like, read it out loud, so... The, yeah. the, the, the part, because, like, that's what... There was a couple, like... Because I retweeted that earlier, because earlier in the episode, I read that on Twitter, and I was laughing at that for, like, ten minutes. And yeah, that's, that's why I read it about. because I just saw it and I was like, I should. Well, because it, it's related to the episode, so I was like, I have to read this on the the, the podcast. Okay, Let's regardless, 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 regardless. I genuinely do not understand why this man looks at mommy, this dumb, ugly bitch, and was like, mm, hot lady, mm, she wear I mean, American flag on her boobie. It's like fucking ugly bitch. Leave. Leave, leave, Look, what? be gone, leave. You know, ex- leave. Ex- excluding that, like you know, obviously the series finds finds her more attractive, that, or the you know the author, or like you know, I don't know, design. I don't know. Somebody what, does. Somebody, Some yeah. brain dead but, person thinks she's hotter. But like, even then, like, even if she weren't that, like, yeah, I, I also think Shizuru is hotter. But you know. Um, well, okay, okay, what's, well, hold on. Let well, me finish you're... my fucking thought. Okay, fine. Okay, because, like, what's attracted... Because, like, obviously with Chizuru, it's, like, no fucking chance. Zero chance. What's attracted to him is that he can possibly fuck her. He oh, thinks he can. Easy. He's well, wrong, but he, he, okay. he, like... Yeah, that's... That, that's. but also, if we're being honest, okay, uh, I do think that, that Chizuru is super hot, right? She's, like, banging, right? But also, if it was just looks... I might be inclined to say I like mommy more. <gasps> but when you take... Okay, don't fucking leave. When you take... Mo- okay, well, it depends. It also depends which Cheezer form, right? If it's Cheezer's normal form where she has, like, the double braids and the glasses, that's better than both normal Cheezer and mommy. But if we're taking into account Cheezer's, like, I'm being your girlfriend version, then, yeah, fucking uh, mommy's hotter. Right? But, but, 
personality wise, Cheezer is just high. What left again? Like, personality wise, Cheezer is just so hot it doesn't matter, right? Because again, personality matters in women. Well, character That's the funniest thing I've ever said. <laughs> but, um, Never mind. You're such a Cheezer, terrible human being. Cheezeru is really good, and she would punch me, and I like that, and I respect that. Did you Did you know that like there's people online that are like so the the chick who's vo- the voice actress for the dub who's voicing terrible terrible ugly bitch is like um apparently she's getting hate mail for people that say they hate her because she's playing they the character that's bad. They just announced that she's playing a character that they haven't heard her voice yet. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Well, no, they just hate her because she is the character, which shows the level of like anime fans and like inability to like you know distinguish reality you from because you are what the what well that's just you know fair <clears throat> that's actually just true but that'd be like if i went to like terror strong and i'm like i hate like i don't know i hate twilight sparkle i was like you terrible fucking bitch Dude, of course you went to mlp because you said terror you terrible strong, you terrible sure fucking horse thought, bitch i don't know if she voices this man's but my first thought was like timmy turner she and, does voice timmy turner and okay, raven and, like and bubble went, like and bubbles right to uh right to fucking my little pony you fucking well, okay because it's the you easiest one to pick funny because funny oh, i hate you dumb you horse bitch i hate you user. you fucking dumb horse bitch I evil gross disgusting user. like i because I i'm funny well isn't that weird how like anime fans are just in a in, unable to separate reality from fantasy where they just see this chick who's only voicing a character and they go eh, you're evil you're the worst person on planet earth it's like See, what it's the like fuck? You, you, it's not even like oh you, you're the writer you must endorse slavery because you wrote shield hero <laughs> but no it's like you voice this character that you had no input in writing that I haven't even heard this, this the dub script for, which you know it's Funimation. They're gonna you know make her about like you know something about like they're gonna make Gamergate references. I'm I don't fucking know. It's Funimation. Um, but like yeah, some of the- <laughs> to Vindy <laughs> that would be a joke. Dude, I would love if they made the villain of the series the one who's in the female empowerment. Do you know how funny that would be? The rent a girlfriend is flawed because it objectifies women. <laughs> it's bad. The rent a girlfriend's uh, the yeah boycott the because like I think in the OP she's the one who sends the text that's like it's just fake you know like it's she you know like I don't know how like that's like manga stuff for later in the show stuff like I don't know but it, that, because she in the OP gets gets the text that say like it's just a fake it's not a real relationship like why because like that's what's happening in this episode is like he's he knows Chizuru better and he's feeling more strongly towards her. Then he was towards mommy, who he kind of just wants to get his dick wet with. Like he, he doesn't. She's terrible you know. and awful and ugly. But penis wet anyway. Like, who cares? Hey, she's terrible and awful and ugly I'm, and bad and stupid not and evil. Ugly. She's not ugly. She's ugly and bad and terrible she's, and awful and no, disgusting and gross and bad and terrible and terrible she's and awful and gross ugly. and bad. What the what she's, is so stinky? She is. Look. She you know who is else is stinky? Ugly. Probably that bitch. She probably doesn't fucking shower person. for shit. <laughs> okay, that should turn you on with how. It should not at all. You are so. She's not ugly. Sure, she's an ugly person on the inside. Okay, he's gone now. He has insulted yeah. me for the last time. Why? He's because of me what? You have spicy pits or what? No. You have insulted me for the last time, Crash Dwarf. You are now gone. <laughs> what did Crash Dwarf say? <laughs> I mentioned you have spicy pits. I, I'm sure. leaving now because I can't fucking take this shit anymore. Bye. I mean, we went over this on Asa Bay Asa Base. Like, I can't I, take it. I, I, it was got I tweeted out. I uh, retweeted it. Oh, and I, I laughed again so because bad. it's funny. Where I'm just like, you know, oh, if what the one had to rank uh, all the level of characters hey. by the spiciness of their armpits, oh, Johanna's number one. Hey. Like objectively, like there's no. Oh, yeah, that's she's a she's an e girl. She's a streamer. Like she, you know, Johanna. Oh my like, god, you're still on about games. it. <laughs> she would be a I'm just gonna fucking sit in here. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking, yeah. Oh, this is fucking She's terrible. very this stinky. Is have I explained what I hate about VTubers? I realized recently. I don't even I care anymore. Fucking these movie. terrible people. I can't handle them anymore. Right, choose your words wisely. I don't even know Here's anymore. The this is fucking these two right. fucking terrible people. They these bridge people the gap like... between 2D and 3D, and I want my anime girls to stay in the realm of 2D. By being VTubers, they bridge that gap too much. And now I feel uncomfortable because now you're putting 2D girls close to 3D girls. Can I be honest? And you're ruining the appeal of 2D. And uh, like 3D PD, and I don't want that in my life. I so, just want 2D to stay Vindy, 2D. Vindy. I don't agree, can, but that's a can I be honest? for another day. Can I be honest? I don't think V. I don't understand the appeal of time VTube, VTubers except funny, funny. They're anime no, I, girls look, doing funny things. I definitely understand the appeal of it because the appeal is obviously this idea. Of, well, I don't relate to it. That's probably the you're better getting, word. You're getting, you're getting what you find good in anime girls, but they're doing things in real life. 
which makes them inherently um, not only feel more attainable but more like real. yeah right you're, you're when you sad watch losers. when you watch when you watch corona play uh like doom or mario kart right you're watching a, 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 a sad what's losers. essentially an anime girl play a game that exists in our universe most of those are played by dudes though like I'm most sorry? of the vtubers are actually just a lot of them are played by dudes i'm sorry vtubers like motion capture i think the fact that either of you care too much about the act like i don't know i kind of like i don't know because i don't really care about the person behind it i just think like i think it's interesting oh i don't care about the person behind it i only come i only come for the compilation anime girls to stay in anime i I only come for the compilations of them playing g um, gta um, gta san andreas and them saying the n-word that's the only reason i'm here gta 5 not san andreas you fucking i don't fucking know yeah dude san andreas and 5 they look so similar one looks like it came out in fucking 1942 and one looks like it came out in 20 fucking 86 well did you know that new game, game new game has polished because a pen moved oh my but God, not not noga kobo's Classic what the what? he's wrong so he decides to deflect to people who are more wow wrong than people him. are wrong like so vindy and vindy and craftsdorf saying that johanna stinks Wow, that's funny correct. that, funny that, funny that, that's funny correct. that, huh? Funny that, that's funny correct. that, that's funny correct. that, huh? That's funny correct. that, that's funny correct. that, huh? Funny that, ha 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 ha! Funny that, funny that, funny that. You're so funny! Oh my God! Wow! Well, well, Johanna smells. <laughs> smells like the pearls <laughs> she picked up from the fucking graveyard. You're so, every night oh yeah, from the graveyard. graveyard. That's so funny. That's so funny. Find the cannon. Find the cannon where she does that shit. Find the cannon evidence where she does that shit. Motherfucker. Oh I yeah, can. do it. Do it right now. Do it right it's now. You can't you can't cannon. Yeah, yeah, dumbass. Why don't you go get a head cannon? Blast it. Fuck <laughs> fucking pull that shit on full blast, motherfucker. Dude, I'm sorry that you don't like the fact that you're hot or that you don't want to admit no no, no. Look, you're right. Look. I'm sorry. I already messed up. I'm sorry that you don't want to admit to the fact that you like Johannes Stin. But it's okay. What fact? There is no fact. I'll admit. Show me the scans. 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 Fallacy. You don't have to admit to it. Show me the scans. 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 Fallacy. 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 Show me the scans. 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 Fallacy. See, you have no argument. You have no argument. You haven't shown me scans. You haven't shown me any objective proof Look, that she stinks. We're just sense scaling. She's she plays video games. You, they're she's not screen, real. Eagle, you two stinky. are not realizing that sh- they're not fucking real. At worst, she smells that like ink because she's fucking hard. Why is it coming this after so long? Show me the scans. Show me the scans. <laughs> show me the scans. Appealing to appealing to popularity fallacy. <laughs> Alright, I was gonna make a mention of the, the molester grandma, but you know whatever. I'm yeah. Fine. So can we talk about how? Not only did one of the grandmas molest Jesus, okay. but also oh. those grandmas are so fucking gay for each other. It's unreal. Like those grannies want a bow. Yeah. I didn't realize that uh, Vindy searches on Pornhub for the old ladies fucking. I I don't. Show me the scans. <laughs> what? <laughs> Show me the scans of proof that you don't. Uh, 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 I, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Exactly, you can't. I win, you lose. Fallacy. Debate over. Debate All over. Right, Next debate. Done. Next debate. Thank Next you topic. For listening. Go. Uh, we're gonna go fucking. No, wait. Die. We still have more to talk about with Richard girlfriend. No, we don't. I don't. But you. Did y'all love the five minute jerking off scene where we watched? No. Was it really five minutes? Fuck, I mean, no, it was like know. a minute and a half. Okay. It was long as fuck. It. Unlike you know what his I didn't cock. about it. You know what I respected about it though it was that it used a man's jerking off. It's literally yeah. post not clarity. <laughs> yeah, it literally used post not clarity. It's <laughs> it's so <laughs> dog shit. That's <laughs> a narrative fucking moment. <laughs> it sounds yeah, like a Vindy manga. Uh, yeah, I res- I look, I, 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 you know, not only the funniest thing I've ever seen, but the most realistic thing I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, I can respect, I respect it, like, I do, I mean, like, I have a video called, like, what does Na- Made in Abyss need like, naked lolis? Like, I'm I do now. respect I'm now. shows, series I'm using, like, sexuality and sexual things to explore and touch on character stuff, like, I think that's good. Um, uh, I can't say Yeah, I fucking respect it. Yeah. This man's post well, that clarity be, like, an Hello. actual major turning point in his character arc. Like that shit's funny as fuck. Uh, we're yeah. recording the Weeb Club, and I and these two were like fucking talking about like, was, like old grandmas fucking or some shit. You're not gonna hear me complaining. And it's kind of weird. I'm not down for it. 
<sighs> yeah. No, like when yeah. she came in. Wait, in the, in what the is bat- talking or... to random people? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> he's talking to random people, but this we're so recording bad. an this episode. Is so bad, I can't take is it. Is he anymore. still recording? <laughs> oh my god, Luna! <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna pull this? him back in here to ask. Why would he post something like this? Are you still recording your audio? Look at this image they fucking post. Like, Are you still recording sentence. your audio? Are you still recording your audio? It's like Are he knew we were talking about VTubers, actually. That's kind of fucking weird. Are you still recording your audio? Are you still recording? Okay. You didn't need to repost the image. I threw like... him back in there. I got rid of him. Okay. Um, <laughs> he came back. Okay. So, thank you, guys. <laughs> Do you have any more to say about the episode of Craft Store? No. I didn't. Okay. okay. Thank you, guys, for recording this episode of the Meeple for, for listening, not recording. Thank you guys for listening to this episode of the Meeple Club. Uh, I appreciate the support, I guess. And what the what smells almost as bad as Yohane, which is to say he's a seven and she's a nine. Goodbye.